Hola y muy buenas a todos, soy el señor Serpiente y bienvenidos al canal, bienvenidos al tercer episodio de Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Recordad que se agradece un montón el apoyo el like y vamos a continuar a ver qué tal se nos da la operación Snake Eater. Evidentemente empezamos el menú pues porque ahora toca cinemática. Lo que no me respondiste en el final, si queréis que deje mi, mi, mi jeto en las cinemáticas, lo quito o, o qué hago. Así que volveré a hacer un híbrido como hice la última vez. Una semana después, 11.30 pm, 30 de agosto del 64. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload antifreeze system shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. Me pregunto, unas cuantas... Unos cuantos cinturones hubiese venido de puta madre para... Pero igual hay que vas así como muy petado, pero... Hay que tener los redondos para usar eso. ¿Puedes hacerme un favor y decirle a los suits sobre visitar las horas? Nunca me voy a mejorar con ellos asaltando día y noche con sus preguntas. Debería ser parte de la top brass de la inquiry. Más como una interrogación. De acuerdo con ellos, soy un traidor y un accomplice a la boss de la defección. Están solo buscando un escapegoat. ¿Eso significa que están tras de ti también? Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today... Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We've still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. It's Cuba. This morning I had a meeting with the CIA. The compañero. They decided when they're going to execute us. No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson. Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union. That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKP-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? No, 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 no. Retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive no this poder crisis, de Putin. I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that? No, no, tampoco. The man who arranged the defection was a group colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? That. The Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean Voyevoda? Yes. 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 Yes.
The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. Bueno, ahora solo es una. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. My deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. With Colonel Volkov's help, two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as a gift when she defected. Yes. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? <laughs> sí, Roski, yes, sí. that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? I pray so That's too. Correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I mean, it's they, boss. I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. No problem. Then you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes. Preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volkin is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volkin as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. It means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to Se prenderá la boya. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? Maybe. I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Mr. President. If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. Put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. A que se pasaron un poco ahora que me doy cuenta. <coughs> Difuminando. The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. No, oh, no. That's it. They've also put us in touch with the Kojima, of Kojima. No, no, primera vez que me fijo en esto. There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? No. You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB for exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Vulcan's ranks. We've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Es cuando empieza lo divertido. Vale, ¿te imaginas eso? Esto en HD con toda la piel blanca. 
¿Qué cara de velocidad? Bueno, no. Control. Unidentified aircraft detected. Altitude 30,000 feet. Estoy más rápido que ustedes, güeyes. It's fast. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. Y todo sin un equipo propiamente necesario para este tipo de saltos. A pelo. Snake as Snake. No hace gracia. El, el bicho todo este es Snake. <risa> Cojimadas. Agarras de fuerte, güey. Tu upper roll. El Halo era más divertido, ¿eh? Ok. Sí, más o menos estamos en un lugar cercano donde todo empezó. Snake Crew. This is Snake. Do you read me? Outcome. and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake. Let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Evil. Eliminate the boss. This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake. 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 Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, no, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? Nope. What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. I oh, must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about blah, the blah, 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 POW blah. camp in Nazi Germany. No, soy, soy Kojima y veo mucho cine. Part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels. Qué raro es que no, hay, no se haya dedicado a hacer un juego de caillos. Prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You use the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least that was the plan. But But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels that was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Comandante Cachopo. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right then, Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the virtuous mission. One, One four, five, five point, point seven, seven three. three. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That One, frequency four, is also the same. Zero point One, four, zero, nine, six. Point nine, six. And there's one more person on your support team. His Sigint. name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest oh, weapons and oh, yeah, the technology. Going up against the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. 
If you have any questions, just one, ask him. For eight point four one. One for eight point four one. Okay, oh, Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes. Meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. Mm, no Catholic. one else would dare come close. The password is... Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme Okay. Well, that was a bit out of the phone. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Gracias. Pero no, tranquilos. No quiero esto. Y ahora sí que voy a usar antipersonas. Porque, como acá os acordaréis, en el anterior episodio dije: No tengo el Dual Sock. Porque en el anterior este grabé con ese Slastis. Y. Me faltaba la vibración, pero lo que me he dado cuenta es que el Six Axis, eh, vale que sí es cierto que para la primera parte, o sea, el primer Let's Play intento que grabamos de esto no lo usamos, pero para el segundo, sí. O sea, para cuando empezamos el otro día, sí, no me había dado cuenta, entonces se prendió la wea. Me, me flipa el, fe, el fectar. Me parece un camuflaje precioso. Además, eh, para zonas rollo norte de España, por ejemplo, tipo Asturias y tal, este camuflaje es cojonudo. Era el que usábamos nosotros al principio en nuestro equipo de eso. Te pones un, el uniforme solo y la, y la lía es parda. ¿Quién anda ahí? La serpiente, vengo aquí, dámelo. Dámelo todo, ¿vale? A Horsi. Hmm. Suspice. Yo creo que esta sí. Esta, esta merece quitar mi careto de en medio. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Boss. That arm still hurt? No, Mama. What are you doing here? I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America.
That should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? Un poco de cada. You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. If we meet again, I'll kill you. Now, go home. Mano machacada, en el segundo uno, la diestra, perfecto. Papá, me ha pegado mamá. This is Snake. Major, Major Zero. Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are going to come looking for you. Yeah, yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's got to be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, no, I know no, how no, you're no, It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians. That she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Yeah. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. No me Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. Simki mission. Command sim. Y ahora vienen los coleguillas. Así que lo más inteligente, vamos a correr la frontera como nos dijo de Porsche y todos están amigos, ¿vale? Ay, qué horrible este juego a veces. esperar un poquito, que tampoco tenemos prisa <coughs> porque me están bloqueando y... no, no, si te hubiese tenido no, que va, que va no tengo ningún tipo de podría tirar una detonadora y dejarles muñecos a los dos pero los necesito un pelín más cerca y como os dije esta vez lo quiero hacer bien y ya no me acuerdo cómo se hacía esto bien
No te levantes, que el control de arrastre ha sido siempre una mierda. Este Metal Gear 4, que gracias a Dios el control de Snake era brillante. De hecho, como me, uah, como me flipo el control de Metal Gear 4. Tengo, tengo ganas de, de terminarme este para pasar a ese por, principalmente por el control. Que creáis que no, uf, se agradece la vida. Algo tan básico como moverte agachado y esas cosas que a este juego le hubiese dado la vida. De hecho, cuando hicieron el remaster le podía haber metido esa mecánica. Le hubiese alegrado mucho el juego. Con calma, Chepi, que no nos interesa liarla. Esto es cocodrilandia. Mm. No me acuerdo exactamente cómo funcionaba este easter egg. Sé, sé que si les daba... ¿Les metías una paliza a los cuantos? Re, eh, cre creo que te daba una máscara o algo, podía ser. O... Ah, no me acuerdo, tío. Ay, Serpi. Mira que te... Esta parte la has hecho hace poco. Ya no te acuerdas de nada. Tienes una memoria de mierda. Ya, Serpi, ve que... Puta, ¡Ah! ¡Oh, que te pare que esto más dado. What the fuck? Te vas por encima, ¿vale? No, no te rayes. Madre mía, qué, qué pérdida de vida más estúpida otra vez. Sur de Termuji. A ver qué encontramos por aquí. Aquí ya debería haber soldaditos. O eso he ido al principio. No hemos ido al principio. Una cabra. Dame tu cometito. ¿Qué es esto? Señor conejo. Señor conejo. Quiero su carne. No es que la necesites, es que la quiero. Otro que ahí. Y más comida. Por cierto, no sé por qué estoy mirando por la pantalla de grabar cuando... Aquí lo tengo en pequeñito mientras estoy grabando y aquí lo tengo en 27 putas pulgadas. <ríe> Soy imbécil. No, Select no, Start. Vamos a comer un poco, que hay, fa hay fame, oh. Es que mirar qué pedazo de bicho, eh. No, 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 no. Tasty. Vale, tenemos que volver a pasar por Cucudrilolandia. Logro desbloqueado, Snake Eater. Eso me he comido una. Me tendrías que meter al logro cuando ya me hubiese comido toda la fauna. <coughs> ¡Toro! No, 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 no. Guero, guero, guero. A ver, Serpi, estás empanadísimo. Pero muy empanado. Por ahí hemos entrado. Oh, si sí, sí, esto es tiene una entrada en salida. Ah, lo que estás haciendo es perder el tiempo sin querer. Y entraste por ahí. 
hemos cogido, hemos ido a coger la serie malo. Ahora mismo estoy imparadísimo. Hasta que no os pabile, vamos a estar dando un par de vueltas estúpidas, pero bueno, no es un speedrun. Y de hecho, una de las razones por las que empezamos todo de cero fue para no hacerlo como la última vez, que fue cagando prisas todo. Y ya sabéis bien lo que pasó. Un soldadito al fondo. Eso es una para sus humanos. No, pues no. Se pasa por despistarme. La verdad que suena a pasos humanos totalmente, bro. Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenos días. Tú no me has podido ver. ¿Cómo te pongas tonto? Te tiro la granada en la boca. Me lo estoy tomando con mucha calma y mucha pasión. No recuerdo qué pasa si le tirabas una ración al soldado. Y no me fío de mí mismo con las distancias para, para pillar al tío. Tum, 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 tum. Creo que no resté tanto ni cuando lo jugaba sin tener puta idea. Vamos a probar. Ni se ha enterado. <risa> lárgase de aquí, Snake, lárgase de acá. Vale, ahora sí, ya encauce. Dolly Donovo. ¿Para qué estamos jugando? Le dice a veces. Sigo rayado pensando qué pasa si le tiramos comida a, a, los, a los guardias. No me acuerdo para nada de... Toma. No ha pasado nada, ¿vale? No ha pasado nada. Voy a caer una puta ración. Un puto trozo de cabra en la cabeza. Oño.
Ya está. Pero ¿Qué coño? ¿Cómo alertar? ¿Sin la tira de radio? No puede ser, no puede ser. No, no recordaba estas cosas así, tío. ¿Cómo aguanta Snake, no? No recordaba esto, tío. O sea, no recordaba que... Pero si, si nadie me ve, o sea, es, es mi pregunta. Y... y... Mi otra pregunta es por qué me, me detectan cuando debería estar en en zona de, de agarre, ¿sabes? Oh. Pasa para acá si tiene huevos. No pensé que iba a venir aquí porque sí. Me la cagada. Esperemos que la última. No vendrás aquí, ¿verdad? Voy a usar este muñeco como, como sujeto de pruebas Lo del cuchillo No, no, no No, no, no Bueno, 90 que hasta que no me pisen 9, eh, pero bueno. No, 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 no. ¿Dónde está mi sujeto de pruebas? Ahí. Vamos a confirmar que no tenga ningún amigo y si no tengo ningún amigo... <coughs> Está solito, niño. Que te quiero usar yo como sujeto de pruebas a ti, no tú a mí. Me jodas, quién sé. No puede ser. La verdad que esto, esta situación siempre ha sido súper absurda, los Metal Gear. Sobre todo desde que pusimos el camuflaje, que te pasen casi en tu cara. Te detectan igual, tío. Supongo que hasta que no te haga pistola sin el freeze. Pues, qué rabia me da no acordarme de esto bien. Ya, no, ya me pasó en la anterior serie, que intentaba ir a, a hacerles el agarre sin, sin que descubrir y no era capaz. Igual que lo de el, el apuntarse con la pistola en el 2 funciona. Tenía la distancia más o menos cuadrada en este, ¿no? Me juraría que en esta versión no había... O sea, en esta parte no había... Guardias, hasta que aparezca IVA. 
Otra puta raya. Y esto era... IAK47. Porque recordaba que era la, la XM, pero no la XM, creo que era un pelín más adelante. Voy a sacar todo esto. Hola. Is anyone here? No. Okay. But it is. Sorry, I'm late. Cut the engine. They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me! Hola, bebé. The name's Eva. Ajá. Perdón. Me recuerda mucho a Eva. En este metal me recuerda mucho a Wall Truman. Que algunos no sabréis ni quién es. Y la verdad que la, la manera de exagerar de, de Kojima a veces es como... Vale, si sí, estás en medio de una misión de infiltración y te aparece una tía que ya de por si te hace el anuncio busca Jax, otra cosa que seguramente muchos no sabéis ni qué pasa, y, y el tío se queda como... Uh... Adán Eva es la serpiente. ¿Qué Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mauser military. Algo así. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Ahora sí que se... Uh, horny, horny, oh, horny, horny. Increíble. ¿Te gusta? 
feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced, and the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Where did you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western munitions. Davey. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Claro, yes. como tengo tanta cara de científico. Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe then. Yes, he's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohat. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Mm -hmm. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Right, let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. <laughs> You'll never make it in your condition. It's the jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it. My orders are to provide you with information. Esperabas que te diera ahí la misión o qué? You look disappointed. All right then. I'll do something special for you. Te cuidaré mientras duermes, niño. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. Sí, mamá. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Gonna get that? Well. She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. Pues... Si esta cita.
y pequeña parada para guardar partida. Pero bueno. Pero bueno, bueno. Ok, let's go. <ríe> Joder. Vamos a darle un WhatsApp al jefe para decir que el pringado este lo tengo aquí. Toma Le va a todo a le va a todo a me recibe. En contado el cachopo. Jabo, 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 jabo. Que la pillan pelotas, pues ya sé que duermo. La policía, Eva, la policía. What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. Un dragón off. We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. Let's get out of here. Hurry. No miraré para la ventana para salvar mi vida. Voy a mirarle las boobies. Give me a hand. Tanta esta cama podrida que debe estar hasta el culo de bichos. We can use this to get to the basement. Ocelot. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Don't go dying on me now. Uh... No cierres y vas a bajar por ahí en segundos. Es Nike. No vamos a combatir. Vale. Vale. Bueno, mientras queréis seguir viéndome. Todo irá bien. Mira, un eh, buen momento para conocer más cosas del juego. Como por ejemplo que si damos un paso hacia adelante a la cama, te he detectado. Os juro que no sabía eso. A ver, mis palos a la pirulilla. Que ahí se duermen rápido. No, no, no. Lo que no sé si le da, ¿no? Terpi, deja de mirar por la pantalla que no debes. Tonto la polla. Uno por ahí y otro por ahí. Y por aquí Vale, ya se me han dormido dos Al primero no le tuve que dar Qué malo es el control de este juego, por favor. Oh, what the fuck. Y esta es una de las cosas por las que a veces no es bueno revisitar algunos juegos, porque pasan cosas como esta. Que recuerdas las cosas mucho mejor de lo que era. El con... No recordaba que el control de este puto juego fuera tan jodidamente malo. Y no se puede acatar a las limitaciones de Play 2 porque esto es un remaster y se pudo haber retocado algunas cosas como hicieron. Vale, pues voy a pasar las balas. Como hicieron con la versión de 3D, sí que re habían retocado un poco el control de la cámara. Dicha versión de 3D se tiene un vuelo más cenital. Aquí lo tocaron un poquito. 
Porque hasta ellos mismos se dieron cuenta de la mierda de ángulo de cámara que habían dado. Pero... La verdad que la versión 3DS en eso iba bastante mejor. Incluso en los lagazos. Bueno, seguiré como un roedor echándose a dormir desde aquí abajo. Tampoco notaba que la IA a veces era tan mala. Hay un vídeo cojonudo, no me acuerdo ni cómo se llama, que es un tío que se dedica literalmente a trolear a la IA del juego. Debe ser en dificultad fácil o algo así, pero... Madre mía, la pena sí. Es brutal. Vale, me he descubierto dos veces una... Por... Una tontería y la otra... Por una punta rápido. No pasa nada. ¿Alguien por aquí? <risa> Hostia, esto tampoco lo sabía, que podías aprovechar para girar en eje casi. Ese sí te da. Me quedan tres el sniper, uno por abajo y ya está. Uno. No, a ver. Que si me dais cosas no me voy a quejar. está por fuera ahí hay uno, eso seguro de hecho eso es el arma what? Le doy al tío y me, y me salta el arma. O sea... Oh, ¿Por qué está incongruente? ¿En serio? Eh, ya se ha dormido. Y se ha matado, creo, de hecho. Y la primera caja pero No me está saliendo bien esto no, no, no está saliendo justo como esperaba Pero bueno ¿Dónde está el compañero? A ver, mira, ya me he cansado. Cuéntame tu vida. ¿No? Pues eso. No me hubieses tocado los huevos, ¿vale? No me, no me hubieses hecho primero alejarme del grupo, ni segundo, venir hasta aquí, para esto. ¿Vale? Hacemos luego, mira. Hubiese sido buena persona y te hubieses quedado en el sitio. Y nada de esto hubiese pasado. Mientras tanto, voy a reequiparme y largarme de aquí antes de que la huella se descontrole. Más. Ah. 
been waiting for this moment. That's it! That's the stance! I don't think so. What? A female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun, I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. Engraver's revolver. Awesome. And you're forgetting one more <laughs> very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. We'll see. carries six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high-class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Damn! This isn't over yet. Don't. Why? He's still young. You'll regret stopping me. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does! Vaya, vaya, vaya. Así que te han vuelto a zurrar, ¿eh, Oce? ¿Por, ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué siempre te pasa lo mismo, eh, tonto polla? Cuéntame. ¿Por qué siempre te zurran? ¿Por qué? Pues por, por boca chancla. No hace falta ir muy, muy lejos. Al igual que a mí me ha pasado lo mismo, por confiarme. ¿Ves? Y ser un poco, mira, el juego me lo, me lo ha spoileado un poco, ¿vale? Soy un poco repelente. <risa> Me ha salido bastante mal la, la flauta. Y... Quiero recordar cómo se tiraba esto abajo. Corriendo, tal vez. Quiero recordar que este barril se podía tirar de alguna forma, pero no recuerdo cómo. Vale, el triángulo. Vaya, Juakbar. Que eso estaba hecho principalmente para este momento. De todas formas, gente, yo voy a hacer una cosa, que es pegarme con el control, porque... No me termino, no sé si... Hago, tengo que mirar las opciones de, de apuntar con calma y mirar bastantes cosas porque es horrible. No me jodas que no se puede editar. Me está resultando muy horrible el control. Tengo muchas ganas de pasarme y esta vez no vamos a dejar a medias, pero lo que sí, 
continuaremos en el siguiente episodio. Así que, así como si Snake fuera un suricato, se despide. Vente, recuerda dejar un like, suscribirte para más en el podcast día. Adiós, culebras.